Hello, YouTube. I want to show you a, a new a new part on the uh, bandsaw. This is a, a hydraulic downfeed um, that I have built. Go ahead and take this piece out. I'm starting to use it in the bandsaw on a regular basis now. Kind of not quite exactly where I want, but as soon as I get it exactly where I want, I'll be swapping the uh, getting rid of the old uh, getting rid of green there uh, and going straight here with this one. So anyway, what we've got is a bimba cylinder. And uh, this is a, a, it's also a bimba part. It, it, uh, it's got check valve in one direction, and then it's got a, like, you, you can adjust the feed rate. Now, this is designed for air, um, but I have this filled with um, mineral oil uh, because I think uh, it will hold up. And my concern was uh, that maybe I would get a bunch of mineral oil leaking out, and I don't have that problem. Um, so anyway, uh, the cylinder is nearly perfect. Nope, I'm using the original hole here um, and the original mount there uh, with my hardware. Okay, I still have to do a little work here, maybe make, make this bolt a little longer and uh, for a good pivot point, uh, put a nylon on there. And I'm just using plastic. Uh, when I was playing around with it initially, I had some problems. This will need to be upgraded to copper because uh, I think maybe over 100 PSI happens here. So let's go ahead and give you a demonstration of the hydraulic downfeed on the on the uh, 4x6 bandsaw. So uh, it has some resistance picking it up and you can hear some air bubbles in there. I didn't get everything out. Um, and so here is the down feed in action guys. You can see that it's dropping. Now you can slow this down to a crawl or you can speed it up. Probably the things that might make this better is if I didn't have that screw but I had like a hand hold knob and I'll work on that. Um, and then uh, maybe getting the air bubbles out. Uh, one thing that is frustrating about this, and if anybody has any suggestions, um, when I bring the thing to a vertical, and it takes a little bit because the uh, check valve was designed for air, but you know, maybe it takes 20 seconds to get up. Now where the problem comes in is now when I want to go back down to, uh, down to the, um, uh, uh, the vertical position is it takes a minute and I got a hold on it and it's a little frustrating you know maybe I could turn the knob here but I have seen these uh, valves so I'm thinking about maybe putting a t-section here and somehow just like because uh, you know it takes a while to hold this to get it down so I think I'm gonna put like a bypass switch in here but if anybody had any other suggestions or how does this work out in the field for real Maybe I'll look up a professional one and see how they, you know, they contend with this stuff. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. That's the uh, hydraulic down feed for the 4x6 bandsaw.